everybody, my name is Mr. Copernick and welcome back to another tutorial video where today I'm going to be showing you how to build this little church and it should be super simple so just feel free to follow along and well, let's not waste any more time, let's hop right into it. This is in my test world by the way so don't mind the stuff in the back but first things first, you're going to find a flat area then you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you're gonna do this with stone. So I just put this quartz here so you can easily see the line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll break this quartz. And then starting on this block, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then we're gonna line this up five or seven blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're just going to connect up these sides. But before you do, first you're going to place one block here. You want to go one, two, three, four, and then on this fourth block, you're going to move over and place a block there, and then connect the rest like that. So you're going to have this gap here. Then you're going to make this six blocks tall. So right now it's one block tall. Two blocks, three, four, five, six. And then you're just going to do this all the way around. After you get all that done, you're going to, starting right on this block, build a little bit of a staircase triangle thing across. So just go like this. And then after that, we're going to do just add another layer on top. Just in the middle. Then you're going to get your stairs. You're going to put one here, 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 and here. That's the wrong way. Do it that way. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one. And then one more layer on top of that. And then you'll put in your stairs. Then you'll grab your stone slab. Put it on top of the here. After you do that, you're going to want to grab um, some spruce stairs and just put it along the top like this, going over the gap that we made. And then you're just going to do a normal triangle shape straight up. After that you're going to place some spruce wood slabs across the top like this. Then you're going to go to the very edge, come over one, and break these and place them with the stripped spruce block. This step is optional, I just think it adds a little something. So. this side, you're only going to do this up to here. Same on the other side. But on this side, it will go all the way up to the top. And you're going to grab your stone, break this block, this block, this block, and then make a little 3x3 three three hole. And then just fill in the edges here. this part seven blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just make sure you do this all the way around. And after that, you're gonna break these blocks just right above the slab. And then do it all the way around. Make sure it's two blocks down from the top. And then fill them in with spruce fences. After that, place the stairs all around the top, just not on the corners. We're going to place those stairs there. 
and then you're gonna take your block, your full block, and place it all array, all the way around the edges. Then you're gonna place one more here, 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 and here. After that, you'll put a stair on top of each of these blocks. Then you can place any block in the middle, I'll just put that for now. And then you wanna put up one more block on top. After that, you can use any wall you want. I just use the granite wall for some reason. I don't know why, but you can just use whatever you want. And then on top of that granite wall, you put a spruce fence. And then this is what we have so far. Then you want to take the slab, go down, one, two, three. And then on this block, you want to break it, break this one, this one, and then this one. So you have four blocks broken. Then you're going to break this one and this one so it makes a little cross like a church. Like you would see on a church. And you'll come to the other side and do the same thing. So here's a slab of one, two, three. Four. And then, so this is one, two, three, four blocks broken. And then this on the sides. And after that, you're going to want to grab any type of wall. I like to do more than one type of wall because it adds some more texture, so I use cobblestone and inside walls in here. And then you go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. After this, we're going to want to grab some stone bricks. We're going to add a ring of stone bricks around this little thing here. You're gonna break these corner blocks. Those do not need to be there. Then you're gonna grab stone brick stairs. Place one there, one there, and then you're gonna grab stone brick slabs. Put one there and one there. Then you can break these temporary blocks and put stone stairs, upside down stone stairs there. Now you can do that, or if you want to make it look a little bit thicker, then you can put those blocks back and add them up, uh, the stairs underneath that. I th personally think that looks a little bit better. And then if you have any gaps here, you can just go ahead and fill those in with whatever you want. Then you're going to come from here, not this block, but this block. You're going to break, th break that, then that. And then one more block over, you're going to skip a block, and then one more. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, you're just going to come through here to make it a little bit easier to line it up. Look on the floor to make sure you know where you're going, and then just break this block. Then you're just going to skip one block each time and just go all the way over. Now you don't have to break this block, because it's going to be right up against a wall. So I don't do that, but you can if you want to. This is now what we have so far. Then, I take a stone stair and put one underneath, upside down, each one of these windows. This is what it should look like now. After this, you're going to want to grab a bunch of different stairs and blocks, so I grab stone stairs, cobblestone stairs, any type of stair you want. I just grab all the basic stone stairs, and I'm going to get rid of this rest, the rest of the stuff in the Then, you're just going to, then you're just going to texture everywhere, so break blocks, fill them in with stairs, do whatever you want. Texture it up, make it look really old. And then, if you want to, this is completely optional um, because old churches did not like use normally 
glass in their windows. They just had them really up high for a little bit of light, but you can put glass in here if you do want. And also, if you want to, I don't know why that's not there, but you can break these crosses out. And instead of putting walls there, you can put glass if you want just to make it a little bit more personalized. And you can do different colors too. I just really like white stained glass, so that's what I use. So again, this step is optional. You can do whatever you want. There's no interior on this one, but you know, you get the gist. You can do that however you want. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment uh, letting me know that you liked it because the feedback really does help me and it does it lets me know what you guys want to see so even if you didn't like this leave a thumbs down because again it may sound bad but it really does help me so just leave a thumbs down if you didn't like it if you did leave a like and maybe leave some suggestions on videos you want to see so that way i know and i again i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next one bye